I'm Dr. Sunil Richardson. I'm a trainee facial surgeon based out of South India and also of the Middle East. So we have a patient here with me. He had this problem. He came to us like this. History of multiple earlier cleft related surgeries. His lower jaw, as you see, was really sticking out. He had what is called as a maxillary hyperplasia or an underbite. And you can see on the other side as well. It's the same. So we decided to do two procedures on him basically. To get the upper jaw forward because the scan showed that he has a retrognathic or an upper jaw that hasn't grown enough. So we put a screw inside and this screw we turned after the surgery and we did what's called as an anterior maxillary distraction. At the same time in the operating theater, we fixed his lower jaw as well. So this jaw was taken back and then now you can see that we've got the upper jaw forward. He's got a positive profile now. You can also see the width of his nose that has been narrowed. And you can have a look at the distractor inside his mouth. Why the Why the Show inside. Yeah. So there you see the distractor that's still inside. However, in the lower jaw, there's no distractor. So we've grown new bone where there was a deficiency which was the upper jaw and we have removed some bone from the lower jaw which is already in excess. So this is a combination of orthognathic surgery and distraction osteogenesis. Now you could combine as well when there is a need like this. So what's the advantage? The advantage is his speech will not worsen. He will get new bone with no relapse and also his aesthetic appearance improves at the same time and the best part is that this is going to be there for life so none of this is going to change in a subsequent visit we're planning to give him some fixed processes with dental implants our dental surgeon the dental team would do that and i'm planning to do a rhinoplasty for him so that's going to be an augmented rhinoplasty including some columnar lengthening thank you